Another problem most amateurs have is alignment. You know, when you only play once a week, it's hard to, to find yourself aiming at the right target all the time. Um, on the practice tee, you know, it might be quite easy when you have uh, golf clubs, you can lie down and aim at your target and align yourself. But out here on the golf course, you're going to have a lot of penalty strokes when you start doing that. Um, you know, what I do, I find a target maybe 20 yards in front of me, and that imaginary target goes all the way to my to my actual main target where I'm where I want to pull the end, to end up at. So um, you know, what I do is I I find that target, I walk up to the ball, place the club behind the ball, aim it to this target right here, 20 yards in front of me, which is going to take me all the way down there. Take my stance. And when you're not really comfortable yet, you can take your club and uh, align yourself this way. You know, you align the club and try and the club, let the club go all the way down to down the target. When uh, the club's aiming to the right, obviously you're a little bit closed. And when it's going a little to the left, obviously you're going to be a little open. So what you want to think of, you've got a line from your golf ball straight to your target. You've got a line from your feet straight through your target, and then obviously this line here. And these are all imaginary lines, and they should all run parallel to where you want to go. So when you do really feel comfortable, and you're ready to go, spot on. Stance. When I think about my stance, I think about my shoulders. I like my, the inside of my feet to be the width of my shoulders. I've always done that in the past and uh, you know, I've always felt pretty comfortable with that. Where I see a lot of mistakes that amateurs make is that they get a little closed. They get a little narrow with their, with their feet, which means with a driver when you're swinging pretty hard, you're going to lose your balance. You're going to sway off to the right make a backswing and sway through to the left, you go through. So you're going to be very inconsistent. Another mistake is uh, when the guys go very, very wide. So you want to make a nice full shoulder turn and with a very wide stance, you're not going to get past here. You want to make a 90 degree turn, you're going to have a very uh, tough time getting uh, back there. So what you want to do is you want to keep your stance very comfortable, as I said, the uh, width of your shoulders. Another thing uh, you want to think about is um, where to put your weight. Uh, on the driver, I put, uh, let's say, 60% of my weight on my right leg and about 40 on my left. It makes a pretty good balance because you want to get your, most of your weight back to your right side. So that's a nice thing to think about. Another thing is uh, where to put the ball in your stance. Uh, most of the guys put the ball right on the left heel of their, of their stance. And, uh, you know, a lot of mistakes I also see is when the guys put the ball too far forward. I mean, you, when you're too far forward, it opens your, your, uh, your shoulders a lot, and you're swinging from out to in. So the ball could go in any direction. Another mistake is when you go too far on the inside of your stance. You're coming inside the, the plane, you're going outside. So you're going to get a right to left shot. So once again, let's go take our stance on the left heel, feel comfortable. Just whack it straight down the middle every time. Okay, now let's move over to posture. And I am six foot three. So I'm pretty tall for this game. I had to really work hard at my posture to get myself really comfortable. I'd like to help you now. What I do, you grip the club, bring the club up about shoulder high, okay? Stay nice and tall. Now start bending your knees just a little bit as you bring the club down. Push out your, your backside just a little bit. Feel like you're going to be sitting on a, on a pretty high chair. Like just uh, hold that movement right there as you bring down the club. Okay, now you've, you should feel pretty, pretty uh, comfortable at the moment. 
Uh, what you want to do now is keep your chin up a little bit. Don't get too saggy down behind the ball because it's going to restrict your, your takeaway a little bit. So keep your chin up nice and high. It's going to make it nice and easy for you to make a nice free swing. Well, just like that, on target every time. <laughs> As Ernie so rightly points out, you cannot cheat the fundamentals. You may get by for a while with all sorts of imperfections in your stance or your posture, you may even hit the most amazing one-off shots with a bad grip. You may feel you can always compensate for poor alignment with your hands or your arms, but you will never achieve consistency until you have the fundamentals consistently right. Practice your grip until it seems like the most natural way to hold a golf club anyone could ever have invented. Think of stance and posture as providing the platform on which the swing can take place unimpeded and well supported 